Hi everybody, welcome to my latest video. Well, this is going to be a quick one and it's going to be sort of a follow-up to the last video I did on setting up a home office or small office. And in particular, I want to cover how to take a Windows 11 system, although what I'm going to show you today will also work on Windows 10, and set the IP address as a static IP address, a fixed address, rather than using the DHCP, the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol that every router happens to have and some other devices as well. So what I have here is my ASUS router on the table here. It's still being staged before I put it into production and I've also got my test bench right here with a PC on it that has Windows 11 installed. It currently is using DHCP from this ASUS router and I'm going to show you step by step on how to configure Windows 11 in order to get that to become a static address. Again, that's part of where I described how you need to segment the different addresses within your address range that you've made a decision to have in your home or small office network. Stay till the end and you'll see this working with the new address. I'm in Windows 11 on this PC that I'm using to do the tests with. I'm logged in as an administrator, which is the right way to be logged in when you're going to do something like this to the system. The first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to open up the router. I want to double check and see what address range I have set up. So I didn't change the test account on it. And here I am inside the configuration of my ASUS router. Now different routers will have a different way of looking this up, but it should be similar in terms of the type of stuff. This one you go to LAN and we'll see that the actual IP address of my router is 192.168.31.200 with a mask that's 255.255.254.0 which means I have basically a double class C. It'll start out at 192.168.30.0 and go all the way up to 192.168.31.255. And I've allocated the range for network equipment starting at 200, as you may recall in my previous video. So I just wanted to double check to make sure it was still set to that. Now I'm gonna go to the DHCP server. And as you can see here, I set up the range of the IP pool for purposes of assigning dynamic host addresses. The lowest address is 192.168.30.2. The highest address is 192.168.31.199. Again, this is explained in a previous video, which means the first address I have available for doing a fixed IP or static IP on is at .200, which this particular device, the router itself, happens to be set to. Now, I believe I said that I was going to start all servers and workstations, which is what I'm simulating that I'm dealing with here, a PC that I want to always have the same address. I'm going to start those at .210. I'm just here to double check that I have the router configured for that to work properly. I'm going to open up Control Panel, which I have in my Start menu, and then I'm going to go to Network and Sharing Center. Now I have mine set up for large icons. That's the way I like to do it. It, does, it defaults to categories, you know, which is kind of hard to find certain things. This, in this case, they're all right in front of you. So let's go there. We then go to this thing on the left-hand menu. It's called Change Adapter Settings. Click that. I only have one network adapter in this PC. It's on the motherboard. It's called Ethernet, and it's been assigned by Windows 11 the name of Network 2. I'm going to Click on that and then right click and go to all the way to the bottom and pick properties. There's a lot of properties here, but the one I'm interested in is the fourth one from the top, Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IP v4. I'm not using the TCP IP version 6. That's, not many people use that, although it's starting to gain more popularity as I said previously. And I'm gonna click on properties. And this is where you set the address. Right now it's set to obtain an IP address automatically using the dynamic host control protocol. But I'm going to change that by clicking use the following IP address. And I'm going to assign it 192.168.31.210. I'm going to give it the same subnet mask that this network has in the router, so I have to change this third octet from 255 to 254. And I'll leave it at zero. The default gateway is the router itself, which is 192.168.31.200. I'm going to use the standard Google IP DNS servers. That's where it can do a lookup. So when you refer to a site by a phonetic name, you know, like 
google.com, it knows how to find the matching IP address for that. That's what a DNS server is. So for Google, it's 8.8.8.8 .8 as its primary, and as its alternate, it is 8.8.4.4. .4. Those are two numbers you should probably try to remember if you're doing this a lot. And we'll just say, okay to that. You could go through and validate it, but I'm gonna just say okay because I know that this is right. Now you should do a restart at this point, just to get everything clean. But I'm gonna show you how it is now working. If I go to a command prompt, which I could have done before I change it as well, just to let you know, I have command prompt in my start menus as well. And if I type in the command IP config and hit enter, it shows you what the address is currently set to. If I had IPv6, that would be the address that it would be using, but I don't. It has the IP version 4, 192.168.31.210, just like I said, and the subnet mask that I said, and the default gateway is the same. Now, I, there are other options for IP config that I'm not going to show here. This is really all you need to see. And at this point, you're good. You can exit this. Let's go ahead and go into the internet and see if it works. I'll pick Google. And there it is. I can do a Google search for PE for doers, for example. That's my YouTube channel. And there it is. It found it right off the bat. And Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. So that's how you would change the IP address for any PC Windows 11. And the same exact thing I just showed, although there's a different way to get to the control panel, uh, would work the same in Windows 10.